disco's gone in, punched the bride, and then he's grabbed the groom and tried kissing him. And tablets, mate, I'm telling you. First disco he'd ever done at a wedding. Won't be doing another, will he, Steve? I had a dream, I'd seen the light, don't put it out. Yeah, she's all right, yeah, she's my sister. Hey, I'm in all, how we doing? It's Kev Ashford here for the Van Cam. It's the midweek one. I'm throwing it out there purely because we play in the Europa League tonight. Uh, this video is being filmed on the Wednesday, so we're in Europa League action in the second leg. I wanted to touch back on the Blackburn victory. Uh, and obviously Southampton's at the weekend, so it's busy, busy mad with the fixtures, so thought I'd do this, and then I can do the Friday one as normal. But Blackburn away on last Sunday, good result, thought we deserved it, typical of Blackburn, they're absolute dog shit, they're, they're scrapping relegation in the championship, and they turn up against United, even the, the fans bother to turn out, uh, up. Uh, that's what happens when Man United are in town. That's what happens in it. People want to see United, so they turn up. Showcase game. But great goal for them to, to get back into the game. Fair play to them. They, they really pulled out all the stops, didn't they? But we marched on. We got the win. And yeah, we had to call in the big guns. We had to bring Pogba and Ibrahimovic off the bench. And maybe that was testament to the way that Blackburn were playing at that time. But for me... I mean, Mourinho, he can give Lingard and these players his chance, but he knows he can rely on players like Pogba and Ibrahimovic, and they proved it more or less instantly. Uh, the ball that Pogba played through, uh, you know, Ibrahimovic's quality finish, and even the first goal, Mkhitaryan, I mean, that pass was just outrageous, man. Outrageous, outside of the boot took out about three defenders they didn't know where Rashford was and that kicked the game off then didn't it really it, it set the tone for the game I thought United were good attacking sense and we're in the draw for the next round uh, I, oh just touching on that game actually I thought Ashley Young was really really good I think he's really given Mourinho something to think about before the cup final I think Valencia is his first choice right back, but at left back with Damian playing, I don't know what you lot think like, but Damian at left back, you know Ashley Young, he's he's not done him, uh, he's done himself a few favours, let's say, putting that shift in against Blackburn because he could slot in at left back, and he doubles up as a left-sided player then, so attacking wise we we, we could get at him. Uh, as always, as last week, uh, running the polls. Uh, somebody's asked me to do that again, so if you see something clicking in the corner, get involved. Last week, I run a poll which was uh, whose hair was better, because I had the old uh, Barnet chop last week. I put uh, whose hair was better, Kev Ashford, me, or Fellaini. You shower of bastards. Fellaini won the vote. The vote. Fellaini's got better hair than me. Devastated, man. Shit weekend after I, I seen Fellaini was in the lead, and I thought... No, this ain't right, this. They're having me over here. So everybody to watch Van Cam. Uh, I suppose it was close, but it shouldn't have even been close, man. Look at this. Fuck's sake, man. A big bushy-haired, gin ginger-highlighted bastard beats me to having better hair than me. But it's a democracy, isn't it? That's what the world we live in. You know, Leicester won the league last year. And Donald Trump is now the president of America. So... You know, shit happens, doesn't it? you just got to deal with it. Uh, yeah, St. Etienne in the Europa League. Uh, I think the job's more or less done. I don't think it is. I mean, it's going to take a monumental fuck-up to lose this tonight and, and not be in the, the next round of the Europa League. I think he's going to rest a few of the big guns, which is totally correct with the cup final on Sunday, which I'm looking forward to. I'm going to that on the, on the coach. And yeah, I think we, like I say, we've made it a lot easier for ourselves by scoring three goals. And like I say, unless something really mad happens, then we, we should march on. Uh, in the news today is the Fat Scouse 
Uh, that's Scouser Rooney. Apparently, he could be off to China. I think their transfer window shuts in a week's time. And Mourinho's not made any sort of defence of, of him staying. I say defence, he's more or less left the door opened and said he won't push him out the club. But at the same time, Rooney is not really wanted at Old Trafford, is he? He's a club captain, but he's not the player that he was three or four years ago, even further back than then. He's on a steady decline, Rooney. It's sad. It is sad to see, but I've got a bit of a staunch opinion of Rooney. I, yes, I celebrate and sing his name or whatever, you know, United score, and people might call me a hypocrite, but I've never, ever forgiven him for the transfer request. I find it very hard what he did, and it was more to do with where he was, he was looking to go. There's, there's no doubt that, it, you know, Man City at that time, the Sheik had just took over. They'd been in touch. They were throwing out the big bucks and Rooney considered going there. And for a player like Rooney at that time to have made a switch from United to City, it, it, would, have been, it would have been a shocker. I know all the, the, the men in black or whatever turned up at his house and oh, he soon changed his mind and all that, but... No, a few things that Rooney's done as a professional as well, turning up to, you know, every pre-season he comes back overweight. For me, Rick, he's a bit like in boxing terms, Ricky Hatton. I mean, he was great in his prime, but you just know for a fact that the minute Rooney retires and he's not training and doing that every day, he's just gonna explode in it. He'll be like a balloon. He's just gonna get bigger and bigger, massive head. You know, he's always struggled with his weight. And he'll be kicking about in a pub somewhere, having, you know, Hawaii night with some mad shirt on, smoking fags, drinking Guinness. Fair play, you can do that when you've retired, mate. Would you be asked if Rooney left now? I, I really, I think he struggle. Maybe that could go in the poll, actually. Would you be asked if Rooney left now? Uh, what about if he went to another Premier League club? I can't see many teams that would actually really want him. I mean, Everton would be a, a nice fix for him, but would Ronald Koeman want him? Would he fit into the way that Everton are playing? That's That shows you the steady decline of Wayne Rooney, but no doubt in what he's done. He's United's all-time top goal scorer and England's all-time top goal scorer. And in our lifetime, will we ever see anyone eclipse this, that Man United goal-scoring record? Because it's going to take years to do and there's no loyalty in football anymore you know you could argue Marcus Rashford maybe if he stays at United for the next sort of 10-15 years but it's one hell of a feat and in that sense you know if I had a hat on I haven't but I'd take, take it off to you Rooney in that sense but there is a few of the off field things that, that have pissed me off about Rooney and I, I can honestly say hand on heart I would not be asked if he, if he left now I think the future is Rashford. Even Ibrahimovic is in front of Rooney. And what does that say to Rooney? You know, Ibrahimovic looks after himself. He's 35 years of age, built like a brick shit house, and he scores goals every single game. Week in, week out, you can rely on him. He's a player that players look up to, and I think Rooney did have that, but like I said, he's on the decline. So let me know your comments anyway. I think I'm going to call it a day. I need to get back to work. A few minutes left, actually. Uh, yeah, join me back on Friday. Get the comments in. I've got a few comments lined up. On Friday, I'll do the usual shit. I might, I'm might. i going to be looking ahead to the cup final because I am going to it. So we'll have a look at Southampton. I'll try and dig out a bit of team analysis. Uh, I'll see what Disco Dave's saying. See if he's heard anything about Griezmann. Uh, he played well midweek in the Champions League, scored a couple of goals. Uh, the Dre Beats giveaway, it's its on. There's only two people answered the question right last week. What team did I represent in the early 2000s in the South Manchester League? It was a name of a pub. Few people have, Two people have got it right. Few wrong answers, man. But the tasty bit of kit that you can win if you get selected at random is these wireless Dre Beats. Last week, there was a problem. There was water dripping from them. I said I was going to discover the root of the problem. Uh, I've got back in touch with... I've got to look good, don't I, with them on? Suit me. 
Uh, I got back in touch with Disco. I said, Disco Kid, what is going on? The water leaked out on him while I was doing van cam. He's reassured me that this is actually a new thing on the, the Dre Beats that they, uh, they've managed to put into it, the protocol. And they've put water into them because basically your ears get warm when Dre, listening to Dre Beats. And if the, the noise is that loud, water actually filters into your ears just to cool them down. So, I mean, I was surprised as well. Because surely health and safety wise, you know, mixing electrics and water... I still don't understand how it works, but this is the, you know, this is this is Dre Beats for you, and what an amazing, amazing piece of technology to actually get electricity and water mixed together, and have it working so good. Yeah. Anyway, if you want to get into the draw for that, get in the comment section, tweet me, do whatever. You just, I just need the answer to that question: Who did I used to play football for? in the South Manchester Football League. These could be yours. They are great and they are leaking a bit water again round my neck. There we go, look. Started again. I'm, I'm sure this ain't right. Right, I'm leaving up there to dry out. St. Etienne, enjoy the match. I like to say I'll be back before Friday to give you my thoughts before I head off to the match on Sunday. Uh, the helmet's going on. Get commenting. Like, subscribe, share. Treat yourself. Go to a fun fair. Fuck's sake, that's awful. Come on, United! Let's do this! It started with a kiss. Never thought it would come to 